this is uh, uh, a painting in acrylic colors, uh, my recent work. This is called Poetry in Motion. And uh, the poetry is something where we, with minimum words, we say a lot of things. So this is what I try to uh, express through colors with minimum aspects in it and as much as possible with a lot of force in my palette knife which I use and uh, these are my works which are award winning works in Bombay Art Society, Bombay and uh, I have done uh, I don't know how many maybe a few thousand you know works which are all over the world people have liked this series of mine which is called the music of the cosmos and uh, what is cosmos now cosmos is uh, what is uh, the one which we all belong to so a musician he expresses through his instrument and uh, how you express it through visual art. A music can be expressed visually by through colors and colors and uh, musical notes are interrelated and I have been all the time experimenting and uh, learning and my curiosity and also to to be rooted in India. My, my aesthetics you know which is not to be touched by any uh, uh, other isms, you know. So it is very difficult. A lot of times it becomes, uh, you get influenced by, because there are a lot of, lot of pressures uh, to, on an artist to, to just plagiarize and, become, and, and have a shortcut. But I have tried uh, diligently, you know, like uh, 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 averingly. So I have tried a, a style of my own and which people say that, you know, they, when they look at my painting from a distance, they can recognize as mine, as this artist has done this. And so this is my journey and uh, the, a similar painting, uh, my guru, Ustad Vilayat Khan, uh, Khan Sahib's uh, recordings, uh, which is published by Saregama HME, uh, they have put this on their record covers. And uh, so, to me, uh, my uh, expression is that actually it is my biography. Actually, it is it is like my my own because I play the sitar. So I think it comes naturally to me. So uh, I have uh, been striving to achieve uh, perfection in 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 one sitting. I do these things actually in one sitting. Now this I should tell the students: you have to be very careful because uh, a lot of times we. We try it and we, before going through this process, you will have to master certain things. Like, this is like, you have to be really centered and to be centered and also you have to be uh, skilled. Now the skill of using the, the knife with, with that kind of force and with, it, with that kind of uh, uh, dexterity, you have to have the riyas. Now riyas means practice. Practice means so many things actually. So you have to understand first, first you have to understand drawing, painting and the colors. You have to understand the, the, the rudiments of uh, art actually, you know, the, the practice is there. So uh, I think many, many years of the riyas of my doing black and white. For example, I'm, a, I'm an expert on studying, I studied black and white for five years and I can differentiate uh, the, the, the gray tone where whether, whether it is red color or green color or blue so by looking at the gray tones now this is something when you have that kind of uh, systematic learning then using colors becomes easy it's like you have already driven a truck so driving a car is simple so simple uh, studies actually these things which I, I underwent rigorous uh, uh, training and uh, those days uh, there was luckily I had uh, LK Shevgur and Peter De Souza and these are the people who then in JJ I had some very good gurus and uh, they also 
gave me the insight of art you know there are a lot of aspects to learning art and i then uh, also were not to be influenced by the masters you know the masters you you, you just look at them as inspirations but don't uh, follow what they did because then it, then you are, you will not find yourself so this is a centering means finding yourself in a painting so this is my painting just a one example so if you look at my other works also you can find that it is somewhere my own touch i try to express as as my work of art here thank you uh, most of the cities in our country we have uh, cultural centers which support our art and culture very much so recently we uh, it's very happy i uh, i am very happy to know that in mangalore also we have one cultural center which has come up uh, s cube uh, that is also supposed to be a very old guttu guttu house which is now converted into a art and culture center so very nice ambience and uh, i think every weekends they are going to have some or the other activities related to Uh, art and culture sometimes painting sometimes music uh, this is a very nice thought of uh, whoever uh, people involved in this because they are the uh, people with the mindset that our society should get benefit with our rich culture with our rich uh, uh, art and uh, culture what we have so i feel this center should be uh, made more popularized so that the uh, most of the people who wants to get involved can come here and can discuss can uh, interact with uh, uh, experts who are holding shows here and all and uh, they can get so much of knowledge and it's very nice platform i feel so wonderful thing uh, so i i'm very happy that such a thing has come out so thank you very much and i uh, wish my good wishes to the s cube and also to the people who are in, involved in art and culture and i also uh, let everyone know that they can come and take full benefit of this center thank you thank you for watching aroundmangalore.com channel do like share and subscribe the channel thank you